Welcome, people of God. Today, I'm going to talk to you, and I want to greet you in the wonderful name of the Lord. Today, I'm going to touch part two about the sword of the Spirit, where I stopped. And I believe this is a very important moment in your life, in your spiritual walk, in the journey with the Lord, where God's Word will become so powerful that can set you high above all the nations of the earth. The Bible says we must be filled with the wisdom of God. We must be filled with the knowledge of God. And today, as you learn from the Word of God, I believe it is going to refresh you, it's going to strengthen you, it's going to empower you, because the sword of the Spirit, the Word of God, it is going to spring forth from your life and is going to do wonders in your life. And today, as we touch part two, I want you to listen where I stopped, because the book of Hebrews, chapter 4, verse 12, is very important. The sword of the Spirit, part 2. For the Word of God is living and active, sharper than a double-edged sword. It penetrates even to dividing the soul and the spirit, joints and the marrow. It judges the thought and the attitude of the heart. Another translation he says, the word of God is like a mirror. The word of God is like a mirror. I, I just want you to understand the word of God is so important and the word of God is the word of life. The word of God is a word of healing. The word of God is a word that will transform, change even the environment in your house. The word of God can change the atmosphere in your house because the word of God is a life. The word of God is a word that brings revelation. And it says, the word of God, the word rhema means the living word of God, the active word of God, the powerful word of God must come into your life. Let's look at James chapter 1, verse 23 to 25. James chapter 1, verse 23 to 25. For if you listen to the word and obey and don't obey, it is like looking into looking into a mirror and you do not see what he says. Verse 24, you see yourself walk away and forgot what you look like. But if you look carefully into the perfect law that sets you free, and if you do what it says, don't forget what you heard. Then God will bless you for doing it. It's very important today, as the Word of God says, many will glance into the mirror at your face just like that and go off. I want you to see what God is saying here in this portion. You know, the Word of God is like a mirror. For if any be hearers of the word and does not do. He is like a man who is beholding his natural face in a glass. For he beholds himself and goes his way and straightway forget what manner of man he was. But whosoever looks into the perfect law of liberty and continue therein, he began and being not forgetful hearers, but doers of the word, this man shall be blessed of his deeds. You see, today we are looking at how God could bless you of your deeds, your action. And uh, because as we look to the mirror, many times we just glance through, we forgot about what we look like. And the Bible says many things concerning our life uh, and concerning what we do. Not just be hearers, but doers of His Word. Obey His Word, not forgetting the law of God. Most of us, before we begin our day, we look in the mirror and be sure we are presentable. I want us to check ourselves in another mirror, the Word of God. 
I'm not just talking about the natural mirror. I'm talking about the mirror of the Word of God. What the Word of God says concerning your life. What the Word of God says concerning how you present yourself. The Bible is so marvelous, so rich. As what Jeremiah says, it's like the Word of God is like a hammer. Then David says, the Word of God is like a lamb. Moses said, it's like the braid. The other writer in the book of Hebrews says, the Word of God is sh a sharp sword. And Jesus said, the Word, is, the Word of God is a seed. So are you planting the seed into your life to see fruit and blessing and life and liberty and healing and prosperity even in this season. I believe God can transform your life. I believe this God can heal you, change you, mold you. Don't just look at the mirror. I want you to see as you look at the mirror, I want you to look at the mirror of the Word of God because the Word of God must reflect back to you and say who you are and what you are and what you will become. Don't just look and say, I will beautify myself and go off. But I want you to see the Word of God. What you see is what you are going to become. And James says the Word of God is a mirror. As a mirror, the Bible serves two important purposes, showing us the condition of our life. We are in and reveal what Jesus can really do for our life. It's very important. It's very important. It is showing our condition. When you look at the mirror, it shows our condition. But when you look at the mirror of the spiritual mirror, the Word of God, it will show you the condition can change through the Word of God. That's why Jesus can do that even in your life. Today, as we look into the Word of God and we begin to look at what the mirror can do, the mirror can transform your life. Who Jesus really is. How the glory and the splendor both will be revealed in our life as we look at the mirror of of the word of God. The person in verse 23 says, Behold his face in a mirror, a person who gets up in a hurry and run past the mirror. The word behold here means we just glance and then he's gone. We do that a lot of time. We glance at the word of God and we really don't use the word of God. Many people even call the word cleanse, like a morning devotion, opening up the Bible, glance at it, and then it's just like a duty we do, and then we doze off and keep away, and the devil will come and do a number in our life. So we need to look at the mirror like the Word of God, so that the book will not be snatched away from your life, the Word will not be snatched from your life, and you say, I will be transformed like the Word of God, and is going to reflect back to me because I am created in the image of God and I will be blessed of God and God to heal us and God to make wonders. The sword of the Spirit is the Word of God. And the Word of God is like a mirror. Every time you look, I want you to know the Word, the, the image is going to reflect back to you. You are made in the image of God and you will be blessed and you will do great in the sight of God. My friends, today as you listen to this message, I want you to take partake of communion. I want you to prepare the bread and the cup. And I want you to thank the Lord for God is going to transform you, change you and bless you. Even today, let the Lord open up the heaven. Let the Lord prosper you. Let the Lord and the word of God become life and active in you that you will see the supernatural flow and the supernatural blessing coming so strong into your life. And be blessed today. Be healed today. Be protected today. And you will see the Word of God coming stronger and stronger into your life. In Jesus' name, we ask and we pray. Amen.